My name is Jason Barnes and I hold the Guinness World Records title of most drum beats in one minute with a prosthetic arm. I've been playing drums since I was 14 years old. In January 2012, I was involved in an electrical accident at work which resulted in me being hospitalized for over a month and ultimately the amputation of my right hand. Up until my accident, I would say I lived a pretty normal life. Uh, I played drums, guitar, piano, and just kind of lived life like a regular person. After my accident, I drug my drums out and taped a drumstick to my residual limb, and that's when my life changed forever, and I knew that my passion for drumming was not over. Uh, so about a year after I lost my arm, I applied to Atlanta Institute of Music for drums and percussion. During my time at Atlanta Institute of Music, I had an idea to develop a more advanced robotic version of my drum arm, which is when I got in contact with Gil Weinberg, and he was extremely interested considering his field in music technology. Hi, I'm Gil Weinberg. I'm a professor and director of Georgia Tech Center for Music Technology. My research involves envisioning and developing and researching new robotic musicians. Some of them are separate entities, like Shimon, and some of them are wearable robots or cyborgs, like the prosthetic arm. I heard about Jason from his drum teacher, Eric Sanders, who told me about Jason's accident and that he's trying to develop his own prosthetic arm but needs some robotic expertise. So the way the arm works is there's EMG sensors built in which pick up electrical signals from a residual limb and then send a signal to the computer and make the sticks react accordingly. The other thing the arm can do is it has a second stick which can improvise and play patterns whenever it sees fit. The third thing the arm can do is each stick can play 20 hits per second with a combined 40 hits per second. The arm has changed my life in many ways. Just the fact that it's given me the ability to use my wrists and fingers again, and not only that, it's also given me the capability to do things that are inhumanly possible. For me, working with Jason was the first time that I actually saw how my ideas and robots can change a person's life. Uh, up until meeting Jason's, I developed separate entity robots, which was fun to play with. But when we actually have Jason with the arm as part of his body, extending how he played, bringing back what he lost, but much more than that, that's a really great feeling. <laughs> when I watch and listen to Jason, this is really exciting because I can see how he is not only exploring and trying to bring back what he lost, he is taking this technology and see what he can do that he couldn't do before. The types of reactions that I get from the audience and the crowd are uh, kind of a love-hate relationship. Some people really love it and love what the technology can do, and some people don't like the robotic aspect because they think robots will take over the world. To hold a Guinness World Records title feels completely amazing and it's honestly something I'd never thought I would achieve in my life. It was very exciting to hear from Guinness World Record about the interest in our technology. It's great that the world can see what uh, Jason is now able to do and I'm very excited that we're in the book. Yeah.